people of Earth. The following podcast is not real. And until you crack the Da Vinci Code of how to disable automatic downloads, you're in it for the long haul. Just a few more seasons and we'll be common law married. When we last left off, I said some stuff at the beginning of last week's episode. Then a bunch of things happened in the middle. And then I kind of swooped in at the end to Sullenberger the whole thing. Again. And you're all caught up. So, sit back. Think about your love of meticulous, patient storytelling, and get ready to put that aside for 41 to 46 minutes, and enjoy the show. Tom. Thomas? No, we can't do that. What? An anti raid? So we sneak in and we steal a bunch of ants? The creatures or the. Okay. I see. Okay. And what would be my role in all this? Thomas. John, John, it's time what, to start what? the podcast. I'm, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, Thomas. It's time to start the podcast. Oh, I'm concocting a scheme with my friend uh, Thomas Foolery. You know, the fancy pig in town. Yeah, he is so fancy. Oh, you, just, I'm sorry, Thomas. You are so fancy. Oh, he's very tickled by that. See his fancy little trousers and his quaffed mm-hmm. little hair? Sure. What a fancy little pig. So and it's fancy. He has a riding crop, but he doesn't ride. Oh, really? Is it just mm-hmm. an affectation? I believe so. He kind of uses it as a cane, and he kind of whacks me on the shoulder every once in a while. Thomas, stop! Oh, he's spanking me. Thomas, you're making it a little weird. Well, speaking of spanking, I should spank myself up to the tall table. Yeah, let's get to the tall table. we got to start the show. What were you doing down there? Oh, I was talking to Thomas Foolery. You know the fancy little pig in town. Oh, yes, I know Thomas Foolery. Uh, was there some reason you didn't uh, call me over? Oh, I guess I just, um... Oh, this is awkward. I, I guess I was I just, just sitting here at the table waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I assume you're always busy, just... I, I think because of how loud you are, I just assume oh, you're always yeah. busy. Oh, yes, <laughs> I am very busy. And you're usually talking to your adoring fans, Wispies. We, f- we figure you're pretty busy these days. Oh, yes, sir. It's very busy. Too busy for friendship. And there's something with the loose ends, but for some reason I can't remember what it was. Oh, we have a concert tonight. What? We have a concert tonight. No big deal. You and the loose ends? Yeah, you don't have to come. Oh, oh God. thank God this is. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. We got to start the podcast. <clears throat> no, 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 Arnie. What? Arnie. We want to start the podcast. That's right. Guys, we we want to start the podcast. Yeah. Hello from the Magic Tavern. Hello. A weekly... What? I was just responding to you. Oh, hello. Hello. From the Magic... <laughs> from the Magic Tavern. A weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Beautiful Arnold. If you've never listened to the podcast wow. before, this is everything you need to know. A little over six and a half years ago, I wow, fell through a dimensional wow, portal wow. behind a Burger King into the magical, fantastical land of You're food. really dining out on that compliment, aren't you? Well, I just gotta say, Ludwig called me Beautiful Arnold, and I was like, you know what? That is me right now. I've okay. kind of had a little bit of a glow up in the last couple months, and I'm just gonna embrace that. And I think the listeners want to know that I'm looking good. I, you are uh, looking uh, exquisite, Arnold. Uh, I, I've noticed myself. Uh, but sometimes people say things just to be polite or <laughs> attend events just because they feel obliged to support their friends. Hmm. Should I be going by beautiful Arnold or exquisite Arnold? Hmm. <sighs> should I do that anti raid with Thomas Foolery? Maybe I should attend that event. Thanks, Usador. You knew just what to say. Anyway, we're recording this podcast in the tavern, The Strange Familiar, in the village of Nibblebottom, at the base of the unnameable mountain, in the magical land of Foon. And I am joined, as always, by these two creeps. What? What the fuck? Why did you call us creeps? 
I'm just mixing things up a little bit. You get called beautiful and then you make us creeps? Fuck you. I can't yeah. stay mad at you. I love you. Mm. Oh, thank you. Usador, I've noticed now that I'm so beautiful, people forgive me a lot more quickly for things. Well, I, it is true that people tend to allow beautiful people to get away with murder, but uh, also, uh, you must be very careful for this can backfire, because eventually people will get tired of your nonsense and your selfishness, and they'll turn on you like the rats that they are. You could put on all the concerts you wanted, no one would come, even though they said they loved you. Arnie, look, I bought you uh, a, a drink, and I, I bought you some food, just because uh, you're, you're so... You're so handsome. Um, oh. I just feels like I want to give you stuff. So this is um, this is uh, a virgin red potion. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't get any ideas. Okay. And then this is a uh, shrimp fried rice. Can you believe I shrimp fried this rice? <laughs> I just made that that joke right now. Can you believe that? Oh, choo choo! You're so funny. Yeah, that's the first time that joke's ever been used, and and I'm the one who made it. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Oh, sorry, my hair's getting in my way. I'm gonna put tuck it behind my ear here a little bit. Wow. You sort of you keep using this metaphor of no one going to a concert. I don't I don't really know what's up with that. Well, it's it's not important really. Uh, it's just um Oh, then let's move on. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? Am what? I what? Chicken butt? Yes. Well, chicken butt is here. Wait, that, that the, the house that walks around on chicken legs and all yeah. and only shows its butt, the house that doesn't wear pants. It's chicken yeah. butt. <laughs> hey chicken butt. <laughs> hey chicken. Hey chicken butt. We're up here. What a weird hey, house. Butt. Yeah, no, no, don't come up here, chicken house. butt. No, no, no. You know they say that a witch lives in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Inside the house or the butt? Inside the house. I guess around here a lot of houses have chicken legs, and I guess that's where a lot of witches reside. Mm. Oh, yes, there are many witches uh, around Nibblebottom. Uh, it's a well-known uh, witch's haven. A few covens here and there, a lot of chicken leg houses. Uh, it's a popular, popular witch spot. What's the difference between a haven and a coven? Well, a haven is somewhere where you go to find safety. A coven is a specific subgroup where you have a particular kinship with a set of witches that you perhaps do spells or rituals together with. Perhaps you go out and you look at the moon together and um, collect blood or, mm. uh, you know, just witch stuff. Hmm. Lick a frog. Now, I always thought it was pronounced coven. Nope. Hmm. Well, according to the movie I saw, never mind. Oh wait, there's there's someone stepping out of chicken butt. <laughs> Whoa! What? Well, well, well! Oh, <gasps> Claudia! Oh my goodness! Do my eyes deceive me? My deceitful gray eyes! Oh, it's the three dinglings! Oh. That's us! Oh my god! The gosh. three dinglings! Yosador, you look lovely! Oh, uh, thank you! Covered in hawk shit. Chanta, you! Oh, uh, you old furbag and Arnie! Mm hmm. Uh, you. Yeah, you. Oh, anyways, it's good to see you three. Ha ha ha! It's so good to see you. We haven't seen you in quite a while. Well, you know, I've been hanging out in chicken butt while things calm down a little bit around here, but I feel a little more comfortable, you know, being back here with all my witch bitches hanging out in town. So, oh, it's good to see you three cats. Meow, meow. <laughs> Uh, meow, meow, indeed. Uh, please, uh, join us. Have a drink. Uh, may I get you something from the bar? Oh, yes. I would love a putrid piss. One putrid piss? <laughs> Chunt, what would you like? Well, now I gotta try it. All right, oh, you, two. you won't regret it. You won't regret it, Chunt. Are there, are there other putrid drinks? Because the way you said that, it made me feel like you're like, I want a putrid, but ooh, do I want a putrid piss or a putrid... Well, there's the double puch. Um, <laughs> you could also get the putrid uh, penis, and then the putrid pockmark, but the piss is really the best. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm gonna stick with this virgin red potion, I think. No. Mm. Pussy! <laughs> it's good to see you guys! <laughs> yeah, Artie, you are a bit of a pussy! <laughs> okay. uh, meow, meow. <laughs> All I'm right. not in the market for more nicknames. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Hawks! Uh. 
can't believe his shirt flies him around now. I know. I wonder if he's paying them. I, I oh, Arnie, Claudia, I heard rumor that yes. you saw, you, you know how he has a suit made of living hawks? Yes. I heard that he's going to make an even better suit out of 101 hawks. Oh, 101. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. There's already some talk in the town about all the hawk shit that's laying around the cobblestones, so he better watch his step and everybody else, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Claudia, what, what brings you to Neville Bottom? Uh, well, I was uh, meeting up with my number one coven. Um, actually, oh, so it's not, it's not coven? Uh, no, it's not coven. It's coven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, gentlemen, I, I'm glad you're here. I, I might have a little bit of an opportunity for you. I'm um, mm. oh. I'm selling witch oils, um, so uh, this would might be your opportunity to get in on the ground floor. You know, I had some incense, some amulets. I sold smoothies. Mm -hmm. All of that was shit, hot garbage. But now, witch oils is the way to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what it, it cures. What ails ya? You know, it's gonna fix your eyeballs, sew up your knots, make your chest look like a million bucks. I'm so sorry. I, gotta, I just wanna just. I gotta dive in here for a second. I get the eyeballs. Part. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's gonna sew up our nuts? Yeah, why well, have two bags when you can have one, okay? Makes sense to me. Thank well, now, you. John, now we're talking. Yeah. So all I need is a six thousand dollar investment, um, and you guys could be on the ground floor. Six thousand? Yeah, whatever you got, shekels, S strings, sticks. Oh, and Arnie, I I once told Claudia that um, on Earth you have dollars, and I told mm -hmm. her you were rich uh, just because I was bored. So, uh, do you have six thousand of your of your Earth dollars? I don't know, Joe. We're, we're not on Earwolf anymore. We're, we've gone independent. I. Uh, I mean, I, I think we're doing fine. I haven't checked. But well, I, I've heard that Conan O'Brien is is a multimillionaire. Can, can I ask, Claudia, how much yeah. would it cost if we didn't have our nuts sewn up? Oh, uh, actually, that costs more. So that would yeah. be like an $8,000 yeah. stick shekel mm. um, coin investment. So Might be worth it. Might be worth it. Well, what I'm going to do, you, why don't you guys think about it? I'm going to leave you with some sample oils to rub Ooh. on your sacks. Yes, 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 um, yes. It'll, it won't turn it into one forever, but maybe for like a day. Chun, you started rubbing that on your sack immediately. Hold on, hold on, let me enjoy this. Rub sack, Chunty, rub sack, yeah. Rub sack, Ah, uh, here. Rub. Here, your putrid piss. Uh, putrid Thank piss you. for you, Chunt. I'm just getting a strong brown ale. Uh, uh, sorry it took me so long, but the entire time I was down there, one of my nuts kept bashing into the other one. Mm. I couldn't mm. concentrate long enough to get back up here. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Uh, do I have something for you? What? It well, Claudia, Claudia, first things first, uh, grab your putrid piss and let's, uh, every yeah. piss begins with cheers. Here we go, yeah. down. Down the hatch, down you. Down the old hatch. Cheers. <laughs> It's good to see you guys. Oh, oh my is that goodness. a local saying here in Nibble Bottom? Because I know there's a sign that says that behind the bar here in the tavern, down the hatch, you old snatch. Yes, it is. It's one of the oldest witch sayings that has existed for eons and eons. Down the hatch, ye old snatch. And now we've modernized it to say you old. It was ye old. That's what you see on the bar oh, signs. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, use it or just rub a little bit on the the old woos and uh, see see what happens. Oh, gladly. Yeah, right under the There's robe here. Right uh, this is so quick to rub this stuff on their there nuts. Ah. Oh, we got some on that hawk's beak. Ooh, it tingles. I know one nut be better than one. It's getting hot. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I yeah. follow the logic. You gotta work on your. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Math. You know what? Math is not my forte. So. Maybe yeah. 6,000 sticks was a little too much. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to give you some samples, take them home, see what they do to yield sacks, and then, you know, get back to me. Get back to me. You know, Arnie's uh, in the same boat as uh, as you with math. Uh, ma uh, Arnie, you actually say math is not your 5 tay. I know. It's not. Is that a joke? No, that's just how bad at math Arnie is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a good one. I like it. <laughs> Yes, I feel, I feel much more streamlined now. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Like if I were sitting on a, a large wagon with a lot of other people around me in a, some sort of uh, public form of transportation, I wouldn't have to spread my legs out so far, taking up more room than is uh, actually mine. I mean, my goodness, this is it right here. No rubbing on your nubbin. You, that's it. You got it. Ah, uh, sort of, I might have to use you for a sales pitch at some point. This is great. Oh. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Yes. I'd be happy to be a part of this sales pitch, as would anyone who's smart enough to invest. Yes. Ooh, this little vial of oil you gave me, it says testy sample. Yep, yep, testy sample. And yeah, and then when you get a bigger one, you get a ball full. <laughs> that's, that's also uh, a, an ancient language. Just like ye old, now mm-hmm. it's testy old. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Can I ask Claudia, just, just yeah. to be on the safe side, are, are there any side effects to these oils? Uh, or straight up effects? Mm, oh, straight up effects, absolutely. You could lose the nut completely. No, um, no. The nut could travel to another uh, part of your body, so you could have an ear nut or a knee nut. That's um, fun. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- that's oh. bound to happen, bound to happen after. I hope I don't get nut butt. You could get nut butt, you could oh. get nut butt. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, nut brow, oh, nut brow. You're gonna be a nut butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, I mean, these are th- these things are bound to happen after a couple uses. I mean, which should sell you even more, you know? So nothing terrible. I mean, you just might have some nuts on you, which Not I right. already did. Right. You could have multi-nuts. It could just be the one nut. Um, but yeah, nothing terrible, like a head falling off or a digit for a dong. You know, nothing <laughs> awful. This is Chunt. This is Claudia. This is Usador. And, and we're... we're- Get, Get nuts. nuts. Ha ha. It's time for our sub podcast where we talk about nuts. Uh, now, normally we talk about cashews or almonds or that sort of nut. But mm-hmm. today, uh, uh, Claudia the Witch has given us a special salve that we've rubbed upon our private areas. And it is combined what was previously torn in twain into but a single unit. How are you feeling, Chunt? You know, I was feeling pretty good, um, but now I'm dreading nut butts. Uh, I hope that when I wake up tomorrow, I don't have it. But if I do, it'll just be, you know, an interesting story that I'll have for the rest of my life. Well, I don't think you need to worry about it, because that um, you got one coming in on your uh, eyelid right now. Oh. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> nut lid, nut lid, <laughs> give me nut lid. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, boy, this is the most fun I've had in eons. Oh. <laughs> Claudia, do you have samples of any of your other oils? Like, I don't know, just any of the non-nut related ones. Well, Arnie, what are you, how are you looking to feel? Give me, give me an adjective. Hmm. That's a good question. Precious. Oh, precious. precious? Okay. Well, here, why don't I give you this one right here? It's called porcelana. You can Ooh. rub it all over your face and you'll get the face of a fine doll. Ooh. Huh. What is... Well, if you use too much, you light on fire. Oh. But it's up to the user. It's a real crapshoot. Oh, Arnie, can you imagine? Can you imagine your current state of beauty forever captured in pure porcelain? A sweet, fragile little doll that I would place upon my mantle and look at you and lovingly stroke your hair every single day and brush your hair and tell you what a pretty boy you are. I mean, most of that sounds awesome, if I'm being honest, but I don't know. I'm pretty clumsy. I fall down all the time. Am I just gonna break my sweet porcelain face? No, oh, I... F- it's worth the risk, you know? Break your face, fire face. I feel like anything, it's worth it. Yeah, Arnie, we could also put you in some sort of uh, encasing so that you don't fall or, or hurt yourself. Then you sort of could make another Arnie that we can play with, so we have, you know, one to stalk and one to rock. If you're going to start collecting on all... Oh. Oh, nut mouth. Nut Ooh, mouth. he's got nut mouth. See, that's that's kind of the roughest one, because now he's going to sound like he's got a, a, a sack of hawks in his mouth. What do you mean? Oh, what? What do you mean? Oh, uh. oh, oh, well, here, here uh, I'm going to give you this oil. Rub it around your mouth a little bit. Yeah. And Although, we've gotten a few emails. This is exactly a sound some people have been wanting to hear. <laughs> oh, you, sir, didn't you, um, I feel like when Ludwig was here that you uh, spent the night on his ship. Can you um, tell the listeners uh, you slept on a pirate ship? 
I thought the whole power fit. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hey. This motherfucker slept on a pile of shit. Did you hear, <laughs> Marty? How dare you? <laughs> did. How dare you? We got his ass on that royal burn. Let's take a quick break. Uh, we're going to do a break, and we'll be right back with these nutty buddies. I'm so fucking smart. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Oh, that seemed to have, seems to have done the trick. Thank you very much, Claudia. Oh, yeah, just a couple of quick tongue twisters, mouth rubbers, you know. You 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 did a great job. Great job, Usador. I, I've noticed now, though, that my eyebrows and my beard are mostly fire. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 just dip your face into, into some of this piss and you, you'll be all right. Okay. Oh, and you know, I guess I never asked. This drink, the putrid piss, mm -hmm. is it, is it legal? actual? Oh. Uh, well, that is a good question. Is it legal? Mm, I, here it is in other towns around Nibble Bottom. Oh. It's a little debatable, but you know. Uh, it, so like in Bimble Top, it's illegal. Oh gosh, the Bimble Toppers, no, no, no. <laughs> they won't touch this stuff, those freaks, no. And in Bottom Bipple, it's illegal. Bottom Bipple, way illegal. Oh my gosh, they may as well be witch Mormons. <laughs> Wait, what, what's a witch Mormon? A witch Mormon is a witch that lives by the rules. Mm. The end. <laughs> no need to explore that further. Well, I, they, they have to live by the rules because they, they're witches who have more monsters around them. Oh. Yes, that's it. That's it, Usador. Yes. They yes. don't live by the rules. Those Mormons are gonna eat them right up. Mm. Oh, immediately. I think there's a section in town here that has um, witch Mormons. You, sir, you're talking about covens. I saw a sign that said "Big Coven? Cub." Huh? No, no, never mind. Uh, did you want to step on my joke anymore, Arnie? I can. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a sign that said "Big Cub." Yes, that's it. That's the one. You saw it. You found it. Stay away. Freaky deaky, Mr. Leaky. Ooh. Oh, oh, that. Oh, and I think that might be another side effect. Choo -choo. Oh, yeah. I got the drips. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh. You're going to get the freaky deaky, Mr. Leaky. I know. Oh, yeah. that's, that's the one Just, pipe you don't want to leak in. Hold on. I'm going to give you another oil. Rub it on there. It'll stop the pipes. Okay, It'll, right. Rub PVC sack. that stuff right up. Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. Rub sack. Okay. Ooh, yeah. okay. I don't know if the singing helps, but we'll take it. Yep. Helps me take my mind off everything. Yeah, it feels, <laughs> it feels better. Let me wiggle it around a little bit. Yeah. Excellent. I still have a nut lid, but everything else is working. Should I put some oil on the nut lid? or? Yeah, rub it on there. And if yeah. you guys could send me just a couple sticks to my... Pay which account, you know, if you just want to send me anything, that would be great. Well, here's a bag of 400 gold. Will that oh, help? Oh, my. What? Oh, um, oh, y yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. The next putrid pisses are on me, fellas. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yes, I have, I have quite a bit of money lying around since I killed the Dark Lord. <laughs> Wait, yes. you got paid for that? Oh no, but a lot of people are treating me to things or, you know, taking me out or uh, so wait, inviting, wait, wait, wait. Me, inviting me to join their musical groups and putting on concerts, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, sorry, so if people are giving you things and taking you out to dinner, how do you have money? Are you ordering entrees and then when they go to the bathroom you send back the entree for money? No, 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 I'm just saving my money now. I don't have to spend oh. my own money because everyone's taking me out. That makes way more sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, but and then, I get, but still, I get my regular salary money? still. Like, my regular salary. But, but still, yo, your regular salary. Yeah, my regular wizard salary. <laughs> Wait, wizards are salaried? Yeah, of course. You, what, you think I'd get paid by the hour? Well, the use of door, here's the thing. I, I just think I don't want you to get too big for your wizard pants. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I miss the old days when... Uh, could chase each other around. Now you're giving me sacks of gold. I mean, I'll take it, but, you know, if I call on you, I need you to be there. 
Oh, well, I, I suppose if, if you call on me, I would come running. Uh, all you'd have to say is, what, what, chicken butt, and I would come to thee. Oh, good. Okay, and I'll be lodged in that chicken butt over at the bar. So, uh, uh, yes. So, I'm just, so Usador, she should be inside the chicken butt, and wherever she is, she should say, what, what, chicken butt, and you'll know that that's, that's not for chicken butt, that's for you. Well, I don't know. I don't know where she'll be. She said she's going to be in chicken butt. If she calls out, what, what, chicken butt, then I will come running. Yes, that's strictly for you, Sidor. I don't think I've ever even used that before. I've never heard it. I don't know what it is. Usually I say, hoo-hoo, chicken butt. And now, uh, Arnie and Chant, if you're looking for please, some please. hot, I'm hot so sorry witch. To interrupt. No, that's okay. Some hot it, witch it, bitches. It's beautiful, might, Arnold. Uh, uh, mediocre, mediocre, Arnie. Uh, uh, I, mm. Chant, uh, I yeah. have some hot witch bitches in my oh. coven if you're looking for a good time. Oh. I'm not trying to pimp anybody out. I'm talking about a nice date. Yeah. Maybe a nice plate of salmon with some quinoa, you know, but. A salmon. Plate of, uh, sorry, a plate of what? Salmon. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sal- I mean, I, that sounds great. Yeah. And and yeah. let me let me do a little um, tit for tat. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, let me. God, I'm just that over. Uh, here, this is my friend Thomas Foolery. He's a fancy little pig, and I think the two of you uh, would uh, hit it off. Oh, hello, Tobas. <laughs> <laughs> see, he's got a vest and nice fancy little trousers, and his uh, hair is coiffed. Very attractive. I like the ensemble. Hmm. <laughs> well. If Usador doesn't come calling, this fancy-ass pig could meet me in my hoo-hoo chicken butt. Also, I just want to clarify, the salmon isn't fish, it's salmon rushdy. Oh. Arnie, have you had uh, salmon rushed tea? No. You make a pot of tea, mm-hmm. but you don't let it sit on the fire for long at all. You mm-hmm. rush it off the plate. Okay. Then you uh, pour it over a piece of salmon, and whatever tea drip, drips through the salmon, that's uh, salmon rushed tea. Mm. And some of the pronunciation of salmon also runs off in that, so it becomes a salmon. You got You've it. cracked the very code. Hmm. I'm starting to learn things about food. Hmm. So yeah, I got a couple of witches back, you know, back in town. So if you want me to set you up, we can have a nice date together. We'll yeah, see how it, it goes. Is there one that? Um, I mean, I'd be happy to meet any of them. But is there mm-hmm. one particular that might be compatible with uh, with me, a uh, adorable little badger? Well, it's not a badger per se. It's her name's Suzanne, um, okay. and she's a f- she's a fisher. <laughs> I can work with that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, a she- fisher? No, no, not like an anal fisher, Jesus, Arnie. No, a fisher. It's like a, it's like a badger, but meaner. Okay. Yeah, are you are you into it, Chant? Are you into it? Um. Yeah, I think I think I could put up with someone being mean to me. It might be kind of fun. She got claws bit. on her paws, and she'll scratch them back and watch a sack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, set it up. Set it up. Thank you. Arnie, what about you? Oh, I don't know. I know I'm very beautiful now, but I'm just not sure I'm totally ready to dip my toe into the dating pool yet. Mm, gay. Wait. <laughs> Wait, Arnie, have you been down to the dating pool? I know. I've just heard people talking about okay, it. Okay, because I was told we're not supposed to go down there. I've heard that that's for witches only. Uh, is that right? Oh. That the dating pool, we're not the supposed to swim pool. in there, right? No, 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 no. You cannot go down there unless you are accompanied by a witch. So yeah. don't go dipping your human foot into that pool or, oh, man, there will be trouble. Yes. So say you do go with a witch or, or you just are a witch and you mm-hmm. go to the dating pool and you dip your foot in. Well, if you are a witch, you can hang out at the dating pool tax-free. You can wear a witch kini, have a witchy mm-hmm. colada, um, you know, whatever you'd like. So you can hang out down there and wait until another witch comes down with her man, and then you kill that witch, and then you steal whatever she's with, and that becomes your bitch. Oh, hot fuck. That, that's brutal. Mm-hmm, yep. Two witches enter, no one leaves. Huh. So, so yeah, so then I'm definitely not ready yeah, for yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But I could arrange a nice meeting if you'd like to, you know, meet somebody, Arnie. Uh, Claudia, you said you're not pimping these witches out. Mm-hmm. 
But is there some kind of arrangement here? You really... Oh, fine, you busted me. I'm a witch, madam. Oh, <laughs> guys, it's just been hard to make a couple of bucks, you know? When I stopped at the smoothies and the amulets, I gotta find a way to make some cash. So, yeah, 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 these witches are gonna try to steal your shit. So, you guys are too nice. I can't do it to you. I just can't. Oh, uh, uh, They oh. would try to steal our things? No, our shit, it sounds like. Yeah, your shit, your gold, your hawks, whatever you got. And then <gasps> I get a cut, they get a cut, and uh, you're just, you guys are too damn nice. I can't do it to you. Uh, well, I, I, I think if you have uh, fallen on financial hardship, that perhaps you could set up a shop here in town, much like incense and ambulance, but, but slightly different. I'm listening. Will you provide people with potions? Love potions and help them find happiness together. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Oh, I'd have to think it over. I mean, I like nut traveling much more, but hmm, I'll think it over. I'll think it over. I don't know. Isn't it better to just get paid for illegal sex? I mean, we've all been there. So I think that uh, while there is a certain thrill, undoubtedly, in, in such acts, uh, that uh, it's not necessarily um, the healthiest way to live your life. Uh, there are certain dangers you may be taking on, and, and Claudia, you're our friend. We want you to be safe. Oh, you invited Dr. Usador. Oh. I also got to be clear. I don't have a problem with you being a witch, madam. I mean, that's fine. But there is also the part where you're instructing your witches to steal shit. And that part... <laughs> That's the part I kind of have a problem with. But I get a percentage. Okay. Yeah, uh, you got a system set up. That, yeah. It's starting to make more sense to me. <laughs> Thanks, Arnie. Thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful, Arnold. Arnie, it's a little wild, but I can't say that it hasn't been done before. Um, Claudia, surely you've heard of the witches in the court of S. Um, a lot of those escorts, uh, they, mm -hmm. they've done something similar. Yes. And there's no shame in it at all. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a living. No, and only a couple of those witches have gotten killed. Oh. <laughs> but by each other at the dating pool, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to bring the room down. Yeah, by each other. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. So just let me know if you're interested. I can hit you up with some food poon. <laughs> well, uh, it, seems that, um, it seems that Arnie isn't quite ready yet, so I think perhaps we should... Give him some time and see if uh, uh, in a few weeks or months, perhaps he'll be ready to uh, put his foot back in those waters. Uh, but like for it. now, uh, I suppose we'll have to settle for uh, selling him some of this oil. Uh, Ani, this oil's working amazingly on me. Uh, my balls are almost gone. <laughs> and um, and I, I got the one out of my mouth and my face is just a little bit on fire. Now, Arnie. I'm mm. going to give you a special oil, okay? I'm going to... Okay. Because, yeah, because my, my nuts are already oily enough. So I'm going to give you this one. You just... Ugh. You put it on your hand, you rub it in the air, and whatever you think of appears that you want to have a date with or maybe you want to have intercourse with. So mm -hmm. you just rub it in the air and whatever you think of appears. And then I'm supposed to have sex with that thing? Yep, you get three minutes. Wow, three minutes. Arnie can <laughs> say that sex ten times. Cause I. <laughs> yep. That's not fair. I told you that in confidence, Chunt. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I do have a card. Here you go. You yeah, can... because you know what? I've got to say, I'm just not in the market for that. But it, it is a service that who maybe someday I will want. Oh, it's just air sex. Come on, Arnie. <laughs> Chunt, she handed us the jack of diamonds. What? That's, I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. Yep, that's my calling card. You'll know where to find me. Mm. Usador, Usador, psst. Hey. Yes? Are you into Claudia? Because I think she's throwing it down for you. And if you don't go with her into the chicken butt, then I think Thomas Foolery's going to, you know, I think Thomas Foolery's going to swoop in, so uh, oh, you might Thomas. make move. Oh, Thomas, that's a good one. <laughs> huh. He's over there sweet oinking her now. <laughs> Are you into her? What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. I uh, things got so complicated with Jen Livia, and then uh, and and Claudia's always uh, uh, brainwashed me before, but now she's just asking me to come to the chicken butt. Okay, here's what you do: start flirting with her. Arnie and okay. I will uh, hang back a little bit. You two start flirting and see how you feel. If you're if you're into it, you'll know. 
You got this, buddy. Although, wait a second. Usador, if we're going to be your wingmen, yep. can you transfer your hawk suit to Chunt? Sure. Hawks! I mean, I, ow, ow. I, I could have just turned into a hawk. Can you transfer these to Arnie and I'll just turn into oh, a hawk? Shit. Hawks! <laughs> oh, shit. Hawks! Oh. There we go. Now I'm a giant hawk. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Go for it. Hawks, take the day off. <laughs> oh, Tom Foolery. What if I put that little curly Q tail in my mouth? <laughs> you said, <or> hurry. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hello, Thomas. Hello, Claudia. Uh, no. Thomas, uh, I noticed uh, I noticed you uh, haven't been working much lately. <laughs> Damn. Ice cold. <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting. Uh, Claudia, uh, did you know that I recently uh, completed my true purpose? <laughs> what? I, I destroyed the Dark Lord. No big deal. <sighs> That's why all these wizard groupies are around here, these whizpies. <laughs> uh, I mean, you mentioned that, but I didn't yes. think it was real. Uh, oh, yes, very real, totally real. Why wouldn't it be real? Why would you say that? I, I, I mean, I don't know. I just, I mean, that's such a big task for a usador. Well, well, uh, me, someone may have underestimated me in the past, but now I am one of the most lauded wizards in all of Foon, and... As one of the most lauded wizards, I couldn't help but notice how large and crooked your nose is. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. <laughs> oh, I was, I was going to say Usador, no, but it, it seems like it's working. Yeah. Also, he opened with talking about how he killed someone that Claudia occasionally partied with. <laughs> like, none of this should be working. Okay, fellas, I see what's going on here. It's about for my love. Ah, that means one thing. We have to have a nipple off. <laughs> ah, whoa, that, Arnie! That sounds like the perfect chance to take a break. Arnie, did both your nipples just fall off? Oh, fuck! Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Ow. Sorry, listeners, we'll be back right after this. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin Tax, Shadow Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. You know, even though I've been here a few months, I, uh, I don't have a place of my own, so sometimes I just crash in the welcome wagon. Keep talking, your nipples are still on. Well, I also, uh, I also have uh, no way of knowing how long I'll even still be alive. For once a wizard completes his true purpose, of course he ascends to the realms of Ephesius. Ooh, now we're talking some existential goodness, and I see one nipple's gone. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I just ran off. It's awfully oh. cute. It's part of those little legs. Oh, it jumped in Arnie's drink. Don't tell him. It's beautiful, Arnold. Let's see what happens. He's gonna drink nip. Hey, Arnie, can I get you a buttery nipple? <laughs> but cheer, here, cheers. Uh, I still have my putrid piss left. Why don't you drink up your drink and I'll drink mine? All right, down the hatch. Down the hatch, you dumb motherfucker. Down the hatch, you old snatch. He did it. He did it. He <laughs> drank his first nipple. <laughs> Oh, classic Ugh. jokes. Okay, you said or yes. Yes. Have you ever considered what would happen if you and I become romantically entangled? Of course, for six years I have. I've been, you know, seeing you intermittently for that long, and every time I wonder, what if, what if? But you're always off on some gosh darn adventure. Uh, I don't know. I, I just... I don't know if I can settle down with you. Oh, I, did, I didn't realize we were already talking about settling down. Well, of course. Seems very serious. Once you enter the chicken butt, you can't leave. Is that true? Yes. Not to interrupt, but at the beginning of this episode, we saw you leave the chicken butt. Well, I can leave. It's my chicken butt. But anybody who is the companion of the witch who owns the chicken butt can't leave. Is there a lot of, um, is there a lot of egg room in there? Can you stretch out? 
Mm-hmm. It will um, let you do that. <laughs> mm. I hate myself. <laughs> That's all right. It's over and it was easy. Ah, <sighs> Usador, I mean, maybe we're best this way, you know, seeing each other every once in a while, having some hot, crooked nose flirtation. I suppose that's all that it was meant to be. I digress and make room for Thomas to continue his wooing of this beautiful witch. But I mean, if you're ever, you know, into pig on wizard on witch action, you know, it, it might be might be something to consider. I'll meet you out behind the strange familiar tonight at midnight. Okay, I'll be there at midnight. Good call. Arnie, ah! did you know that when a... It's beautiful Arnie, Arnold, did, but yes. Oh, beautiful Arnold, did you know that when... A witch and a wizard and a pig have sex. It's called devils on horseback. I thought it was called bacon and legs. <laughs> oh, uh, you would know better. I'm, I just heard a rumor. Well, I, but I mean, you know, to each his own. Every man's got his breakfast treat. I was thought it was called a witch in a blanket. That too, that too. Well, that could be a witch with anyone. I thought it was called a merry melody. They're not all great. That's all, folks. Wait, the show's over? <laughs> I wish, but alas, it goes on and on. Uh, okay, well, I think um, me and this pig are going to go get a foons over my hammy. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Claudia, how long are you in the village for? It's just been so such a treat to catch up with you. Like, it, uh, yeah. Are you in town for a while? I'll be here for a while, maybe a couple hundred years or so. It depends on how the oils go. And mm -hmm. like I said, my coven is here, my original coven. So me and the witch bitches are just going to see what happens. Sure. Yeah. Is your whole coven into this oils thing? Oh, my gosh, of course. Yeah, we're rubbing oils like nobody's business, selling them, making them, grinding them up, trying to find homes for them. Every single witch is on this task. You got it, Arnie. Is it hard to grind up oils? Very hard. Oh, you ever try to grind up a liquid? Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> well, I, I was just wondering, uh, is one of the side effects of the oils that I use that uh, all my teeth have turned into one big tooth? Yep, big tooth is also a side effect, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You, got, you got anything for that to separate them back out? Mm -hmm. Here's a Sharpie. You just want to write right in your mouth. There you go. Uh, Ani, do they have Sharpies on Earth? This is just a very sharp little knife. Oh. Ah, ah. I'm just going to carve careful, out. Careful, careful. That's permanent. I'm just going to carve out. Yeah, it's permanent. I'm just going to carve out some gribble grooves here so it looks like I've got teeth again. Give me a minute. Ah, ah. That looks good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chuck, how are you feeling? I mean, you were about to go off on an anti-raid with Thomas, and I guess that's not going to happen. He's got a, a full plate tonight. You know what? I'm just happy for him. Um, so, you know, it's, he's been through a bit of a dry spell. Um, and right now he looks as happy as uh, him and shit. Oh, you're, you're free tonight? Uh, well, I turn, I'm turn. i currently a hawk, so I might fly around a little bit to see if I can get, like, an aerial view of, um, of uh, Nibblebottom. But sure, sure, sure. Why? Is there something Was there something going on? Was there... uh, well, uh, if you fly around and you don't see anything better to do... Oh, you had your little thing tonight. How's your little thing going to go? Is your little thing going to be fun? That's fun. I love that for you. Yes, sir, I love that for you, that you have your little Thank thing. You. Thank you. What I mean, a fun little fun. thing. Yeah, it should be fun. Fresh Oons over my hammy. Ah, ooh, yes, <laughs> That, that pig is going to town. It's like eating from a trough. Wow, that pig is really going down on her. There's there's a chicken butt right over there. What? Get a chicken butt. For, we're eating mozzarella wands, for God's sakes. It's just it's just so high up here. It's hard to tell uh, yeah, from yeah. the angle, you know. Uh, Honest mistake. Tall table. Yeah, you have the mozzarella wands in your lap, so to be fair. Well, I mean, it's a very flirtatious food. It's mm -hmm. uh, somewhat phallic. Uh, it's cheese. What's more erotic than cheese? Mm -hmm. Usador's jealous. I wouldn't say I'm jealous. I'm going to meet them. I'm going to meet them up behind them. At midnight. At midnight. And Usador, even after we made it out of the strange familiar at midnight, if you feel like you want to come back and you want to spend a couple years in the chicken butt, I'd welcome you with open witch arms and never let you out. Oh, oh that's so sweet. Mm. Uh, oh, to be trapped inside a chicken butt. Oh, I must, I must consider my options. I 
shall have to meditate and decide whether this is the way I want to spend my remaining years here on food. Think about it. I will. Although, Usador, be careful. I mean, obviously, we love Claudia. She's one of our, our best friends. But while she and Thomas were going to town on those mozzarella wands, she she clearly picked his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Took his wallet and his, <laughs> yeah. his pocket oh, watch. Oh, no. His fancy little wallet? Mm-hmm. Every witch has its thorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to leave Thomas here. And uh, wait, did go. you just poison Thomas? <laughs> I, he's not I looking she, so good. I think she just poisoned him. Uh, I want to go back into the chicken butt, maybe freshen up a little bit, and um, leave your friend here if he wants to come back and do some foods over my hammy. That's his, uh-huh. you know, prerogative. So um, I'll be back. Oh, she just flew right in the chicken butt. Uh, uh, Thomas. Thomas, speak to us. He's coughing up blood. No, he, are, he always does that. That's his uh, thing. That's his thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's fancy blood. It's fancy. He coughed it into like a, a silk kerchief like that he had tucked into his pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly, Thomas, tell us, do you have any last words? I don't understand any of that. Oh, it was beautiful. It was a poem. Do you want to Do you want to step on someone else's last words, Arnie? Oh, sorry. Step on Chunt's joke. Step on Thomas's last words. Watch yourself. But all, Watch it's yourself. beautiful, Arnold. Oh, you're so beautiful. I can't stay mad at you. Oh, I'm back. Oh, sorry. Oh, is the pig dead? Uh, I mean, I, close. I no, I, close I, I, too. Close too. He's gone. He's no longer with us. He left. Claudia, what did you do? Well, I just took his pig entrails, and I guess that was the end of it. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, now we're only going to have a twosome? Oh. <laughs> this is almost as bad as when Zach Plasma died. Arnie, don't bring that up. Every friend I make dies, and I hate it. What's wrong with you, Chunt? <laughs> I don't know. Tusador, Drew, Zach Plasma, <laughs> no, t- I'm sorry, Thomas Fullery. Every time I introduce a friend to this show, they die. <laughs> Chun, I'm so sorry, and I'm sorry to laugh. I'm just putting that together. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry, Chun. No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it, Arnie, you have a friend, Ken, who I guess lives forever or whatever, so that must be nice. <laughs> as much as I hate him, he can never leave. But no, everyone Chunt introduces has to go the way of the dodo. Come here, Thomas. Let me take you back to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, he's going to cook him. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. all right. You know what? I take back what I said about Suzanne the Fisher. I, I chunt. I don't think we should introduce you. Everybody dies that you love. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, no, not everyone. Uh, Arnie hasn't died yet. Yeah, I, I did. Died. I did for a little uh, while. Ah, shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so did I. Yeah. What is what wrong the, with me? What the hell? Ah, uh, I need to... I, I, I need to go. I'm, I'm going to fly away as a hawk. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I got to go. Chunt. Oh no, Chunt! Oh look, even my even my putrid piss—it's all gone. I killed it. Oh. oh I drank my. it all. Oh, goodness, Chunt! Just... <laughs> he got us again. Look at Thomas dancing on the bar. <laughs> oh. Ah, good old tomfoolery for ya. Oh, oh yeah. Thank goddesses, he was just tomfooling around. Oh, thank God, the threesomes back on, baby. <laughs> Looks like threesomes back on the menu. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Down the hatch, you old snatch. <laughs> ah, whew, that is a tasty treat. Oh, boys, we're going to get messed up tonight. <laughs> Did Claudia try to murder Thomas the pig? Make sure to write a carefully worded essay explaining your thinking, then post it on Reddit for us to find in 11 years. Use It or the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Claudia the Witch was played by special guest Beth Maluski. Beth is currently shortlisted to become an understudy workshop moderator for Second City Works. 
One small, vital part of the Strauss-Zelnick financial family. When it comes to comedy, ask a venture capitalist. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Want to support the show to impress your friends and piss off mom and dad? Check us out at patreon.com slash magic tavern. You get ad-free episodes and two new bonus episodes every month. To learn more, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adel Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. This episode edited by Chris Rathchen. Special assistance by Ryan to Georgie. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. All right, back to picking random posts on Twitter and replying doubtful with a gif of the kid from Matilda doing a thumbs down. Then replying to every response after that with an American flag and a crying face. After that, an hour of yoga and bed. It's a full life. (laughs) 